challenge, day 15, you did it. You made it. Final boss, baby. Final last solo. Here it is, 12 bars, and it includes all the elements of everything we've done the last couple of days. Once you have this one under your fingers and you're jamming, next time you're hanging out with your friends, they play guitar, piano, just tell them, hey, blues and D, chief and let this thing fly. Do me a favor, we need an extra hashtag for this one. I want you to also hashtag 10 thumbs, final boss. That makes it much easier for me on Instagram to see everybody who finished. It was also made to my attention that the backing track that I did had my playing on it, I'm sorry. The backing track in this link is just clean, only rhythm, so you can shred and you can shine. Let's do it for the last time. Ukulele brain attention span. Thank you, Flight, so much for making this possible. And let's shred it out. Final boss. Final boss, first four measures. All right. Third fret of the A string. Fifth fret of the E string. And we're going to slide from a half step down into it. I'm plucking and pulling up like this. Index on the E, middle on the A. And that's going to be a triplet, all right? Make sure the mic's getting that. One pola, two pola. Now we're gonna do that half slide in on the first and third beat. One pola, two pola, three pola, four pola. Just like that. On the first beat of the second measure, lift your ring finger, slide this down to the second fret, middle finger on the third, one and one on the E, open A. But when you do that, it's actually gonna be better if you get your index finger there. So you have one pola, two pola, three pola, four pola, one and two. Dang it, two, that's what I wanna do. We're gonna go two and three, second fret of the C string, and four and one. So this phrase goes all the way to the third measure. One pola, two pola, three pola, four pola, one and two and three and four and one, two. On the third beat, we start the next phrase. Now, real quick, that first phrase, what it's doing there, it is using these triplets and double stops in the scale. This B note is not in our scale, but it is the sixth tone and it makes a great passing tone. You could also think about it as Dorian. So you can use this B note or you can use the sixth interval over the one chord in blues. Really, really nice. Okay, the next phrase. A little easier, but we do have a 16th and we have the flat fifth. Three, four, three, there's our flat fifth. And instead of passing through it, we're going up and then back down. Do, 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 first fret second fret. So that's why I'm using my middle finger and ring finger here. So I can go one pole, well, one E and a two. Sixteenths. Middle finger there. That same double stop we did earlier. Two pull zero, three, slide five. Two pull zero makes it to a C note. This is the C octave and we slide to the D. So both of these phrases resolve on a D note. Second phrase. Very cool. One E and a two and three and will be, starts in the third beat, sorry. So it's three E and a four and one and two. You can get some vibrato on there, great. So these four measures, one pola, two pola, three pola, four pola, one and two and three and four and one, two, three E and a four and one and two, three. Four, boom, into the next uh, four measures. Okay, so the next four measures, eighth fret on the A string, seventh fret on the E string. This comes from that G7 shape we learned in day 14. And we're gonna go one and two and seven, eight, two times, one and seven, seven, and then five and seven. And those are kind of just arpeggio-based ideas around the G7. G7, G6, G chord. 
one and two and three four and there's a that this one will ring out through the third beat then you play the fifth fret on the four and then you'll drop down to the seventh fret on the and four and one and two and three four and seventh fret here on the c string for the first beat of the next measure and it's a triplet seven five seven one pola one pola two one pola two one pola two and three four fairly easy one and two and three four and four pola two and three four next phrase and we see our first bend woohoo so what do we got going here that's that major third that we talked about here earlier f to f sharp and we talked about that maybe day six i think seven so hammer five to six and then up to five and that's a triplet one pola one pola two one pola two and seventh and five one pola two and three and four so we hit that d note three times in a row again that's something that I want to re-emphasize, you can hit notes in your solos and licks more than one time. One pola, two, and three, and four, one. So that first measure is the triplet. One pola, two, and three, and four, okay? Then we're gonna go from there and we're gonna actually play the eighth fret here, which is another F note. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna bend the eight a half step to make it sound like nine. You're gonna hold it for two beats. One, two, a little vibrato even if you want on the bend, and then back to five. One pola, two, and three, and four. One, two, three, four. All right, and then we're into the turnaround. The turnaround's unique. We have a G, we have an A7 and a G7, and we have an A string and a G string. So I figured let's make some use of those. Let's have some fun with this. The A7 is just walking through the chord against the A note. One and two and three and four. First fret of the C string, open A. C sharp's your major third. Fourth fret, E note, fifth interval, open A. G, your flat seven, open A and A your root and we're going to do the same idea with the G string starting here with our major third the B goodness gracious G is the same idea it's two zero five zero eight zero ten third interval B fifth interval D flat seven F root Those two together sound great. <laughs> That's so cool. And then our turnaround. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three. Pretty cool. Hammering, well, first on the one. One. Then we're going to hammer five to six. Two, and three. Grab the right here, the F or the fifth fret here. Boom, down to eight, down to five, and down to six. And those are all eighth notes. So it's one and two and three and, I'm sorry, it starts on two. So it's two and three and four and one. On the first beat, we're gonna play six, five, five. After that, come down third fret here and the fifth fret here. This comes from that G7 shape that our friend Adam loves so much. The four finger, four fingers of death. <laughs> we're just gonna play just two notes though. I'm gonna spare you some pain, bud. Then we're gonna go from three five to four five, implying an A flat seven, and then five and seven, but also with the open G string, making it a nice A7 sound. Let that ring out to three, four, so it's one and two will be sorry it would be one two and three four boom and you have defeated the final boss 
Let's play through it one time without a backing track, just counting it together from the top. So here we go, super slow. One, two, three. One polar, two polar, three polar, four polar, one and two and three and four and one, two, three and a four and one and two, three, four, one and two and three, four and one polar, two and three, four, one polar, two and three and four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One, two and three and four. And one, two and three, four. Boom. Game over. Let's try it with backtrack. One. Final boss, you did it. We did it. Oh my goodness. Oh my gracious. Yeah. Awesome. So when people see your ukulele, they're probably thinking Mary had a little lamb, Tiny Tim, Tiptoe in the Tulips, but I like that song. But anyways, that's not the point. That's what they're probably thinking. Well, the final boss, let's lay 12 bar solo down on top of them. That's so thick and juicy. Albert King. B.B. King, Freddie King, the three kings of the blues would say, that is smoking, my friend. Oh, my gosh. You hear that? <sighs> They're not cheering for me. They're cheering for you. <sighs> oh, we love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. Oh, my gosh. It's so amazing. Wow. I love those bins. Ah. Nobody likes that one chord shape with four fingers. Ah. Shout out to every single person that participated. That's you. Thank you. Shout out to everybody that finished and everybody that participated. Um, I will see you in a year for the next blues challenge. Maybe do another smaller challenge in about six months with chord melody or something like that. But over in the challenge group, I think I might do monthly challenges just in the group with old lessons like pick an artist and we all play an artist or go play outside challenge or something. So make sure you follow the Facebook group as well. All right. Until next time, signing off and back to regular programming, Monday guitar, Wednesday, Saturday, ukulele. And let's just continue this journey and let's show them we shred.